Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Jazzy C After Dark. I'm your girl, your host, Jazzy C. Now, before we get started, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that button at the bottom of the screen for the notifications. You do not want to miss the episode. And like always, guys, I'm giving big hugs and big kisses to all of you who have been liking, sharing, subscribing to Jazzy C After Dark. It really does help and it goes a long way. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so excuse Chicks and Cruz in the back. You guys know the drill. She knows the deal. All right, so let's get started. This will be a review recap episode of Married at First Sight. I couldn't wait to get started on this episode this week, guys. Um, the Facebook fan group has been going crazy about the Boston fan group. You guys, I love y'all. It's so interactive. Y'all keep me motivated. Y'all keep me going. So this will be dedicated to you guys. All right, so... We started off the episode with Mark and Lindsay, where we left off last week um, after Mark and Lindsay had been cutting all day, I guess. Lindsay said that, matter of fact, they had cut, which is uh-uh, right, three times that day. Then they came down to dinner, and Mark was, like, telling his wife, mm, I want to slow down. You moving too fast for me. I'm not ready for your personality type. So, I guess, you know, like any normal person would, any normal sane woman would, you know, Lindsay kind of was like, uh-huh, yeah, it, it, you, right? Y'all can fill in the blank, right? And I'm here, I'm with her. Now, we all know that Lindsay is a bit of a Karen, but I'm going to give it to her right here. I'm going to definitely give it to her right here because you can't be cutting nobody all day and all night, all afternoon, and then come down to dinner talking about, ooh, here go these flowers, let's take it slow. No, uh, uh that's not how we'll work, homeboy. That's not how it'll work. Uh, side note, Elijah, you got a smart-ass mouth, but, uh, ain't no, all these girls is fine. I don't know. I like the tattoos. But they don't have no feeling. No, let me stop. Ooh, Mark said he got big bucks back at home. I hope he didn't bring none down to Puerto Rico. Ooh, that won't be good for the airplane. But I tell you what, Lindsay is being so wonderful about it. Mark the shark, I guess he got evicted while he was on his honeymoon. Yeah, he had bed bugs, and I guess a, his landlord was like, no animals. Well, Mark the shark has three cats. So on his honeymoon, he got evicted, and Lindsay is being so wonderful about it. She like, yeah, babe, it's okay. You can move your stuff in here. We'll pay somebody to go clean up your home. You don't even got to ever talk to her again. You don't ever got to go back to that place again. I'm going to help you. And that's what a woman does. A real woman does for her husband. She's stepping up and she's stepping to the plate. Yeah, she got some bad qualities, but she also has apparently, obviously, some good loving qualities. So, I guess, Lindsay, you get a couple good points for that. Oh my God, Alyssa! Alyssa and Chris. She is such a manipulator. That's it. Do y'all see what she is doing? Sitting here talking to the producers. I don't like him. He is such a manipulator. He is such a... No, you are the manipulator. You are the liar. Well, I don't think that her friend Katina is buying it. <clears throat> Katina is trying to be nice to her about it. Say, like, girl, you just don't want him because of his looks. Just tell him that. See, yeah, I like Michael and Jasmina. He told her a little story about how he got picked on and bullied and got his butt whooped on when he was a little boy. So, like, he's trying. He might be a little, she say, verb, you know, VA. So, verbally, right? So, that's probably something that he needs to work on. But she is, you know, she withdraws. Um, 
she from the whole disconnects from the whole situation. So she needs to work on that. I appreciate that they both are trying and trying to be an adult about the situation. She's saying that they need to work on communication. Well, girl, the communication ain't going to come, Jasmine and Michael, if you don't communicate. You can't withdraw from the situation and expect there to be open communication, girl. Duh. Yeah, okay, right. Chris. He says, say it on camera, Alyssa. Say it on camera that you don't want me so I can go on about my business. Finally, you stick it up for yourself like a real man. Thank you, Chris. Woo! Alyssa is a manipulator and a gaslighter. I don't, there's no other words to describe her. Oh, she has a turkey neck. And that's all. Chris, what is it, honey? What is it? They said that the show only pays you $150 a day. Now, you a realtor or something with the houses selling house? I don't know. But you can get more at the temp service. $150 a day? And you putting up with this girl treating you turkey neck? Alyssa treating you like this on national TV? So, looks like Alyssa is going to put the whole, I want to get a divorce on Chris and make him say it out loud because she's not putting in any effort and she's making him be the one to say, this is it, because he don't want to put up with that. Um, looks like uh, Jasmina and Michael, Michael yells and apparently cusses and is mean to Jasmina off camera. Ooh, I thought y'all was a good couple. Mike, don't be trying to uh be a different way in front of and off of the camera. Um Mark and Lindsay. Okay, look like he might be two faced too, but you know what? He probably going through a lot because of his mom. Y'all know his mom is like to stay in the house. I forgot what y'all call that. But like to stay in the house all the time. He getting kicked out of his apartment. Got bed bugs. They got all them damn cats. They got a lot going on. So he probably stressed out. Uh, Noe and Steve. He probably just want to, you know, the bare minimum. But he want kids. And Noe is like, no. We not about to do that. I want a family. I want to be middle class. I want to be settled. I want a home. I want a foundation. I don't want to be rock climbing in the middle of nowhere with my kids on my back. I get that noise. Um, Elijah Wan and Katina looks like, uh, I don't know, something going on that one. Some, somebody might be cheating getting the itch look like somebody getting the itch on that the cheating itch on that one i don't know i don't know y'all know i'm gonna keep it tuned keep it tuned right here on jazzy c after tart you've been watching another episode recap episode of um married at first sight right here on jazzy c after dark don't forget to like share subscribe hit that button at the bottom of the screen for the notifications and leave some kisses in my comments so let me know what you think oh.